Hello and welcome to RF Pro 5 minutes tutorial. This is tutorial 24 and in this video I will talk about simplifying multi-layer EM simulations with RF Pro. This is going to be very useful if you deal with multi-layer designs and often need to perform electromagnetic simulation. In those cases the typical designer worry is how to reduce simulation time and how to reduce the memory consumption so that you can run your simulations much faster in the most efficient manner. So stay tuned for all the techniques I'm going to show in this video and they will be very useful for your work. So let's get started. I have two case studies. Let's take a look at the first case study. Here I have a design which is done on a six layer board. Now you can have even higher number of boards than this. Now in a typical RF microwave application, your designs are largely concentrated either on the top two layers or the bottom two layers of the multi-layer board. And in these cases, if you want to simplify, a typical step would involve you saving this stack up as some other name and you manually deleting all the necessary layers from the stack up in order to simplify that. And after this, you will come to layout and delete all the unnecessary layers from your design or to do various kind of simplification. Now, all these things cause extra work on designer part and you end up creating n number of copies of your stack up and the layout. All this is not required when you are dealing or using RF Pro in ADS. So let's see how. Once you open this design database in RF Pro, you can see you have the multi-layer design. Like in my case, I have a six-layer board design in which I have a transmission line at the top and transmission line at the bottom. So here I'm going to focus only on the top two layers because let's say that's the section I would like to analyze. So in, in, in that case, you are only concerned with primary top two layers. Anything below that is actually unnecessary baggage which you have to carry for your EM simulation. Now, how can you simplify that in RF Pro? Very simple. When you load the design, all your substrate stacker properties are also loaded. Here you can see all the conductors, all the vias and all the dielectrics in your design. Now, anything which you don't really need for your simulation, you can simply select that. For example, in my case, anything downwards of M3 layer is actually useless for me because I only want to concentrate or simulate these top two layers. Now, in that case, you select all of them, right click, go to meshing and exclude it from mesh. Once you do that, now the simulator will not create mesh on those layers. Isn't it cool? Pretty, pretty simple. Now to indicate that these are not included in your simulation, you can see the fonts are now italic. If you want to avoid further confusion, you can select all of them, right click, make them invisible so that you don't even see that in UI so that you can only focus on the design uh, which you would like to simulate. Similarly, the dielectric layers, for example, here, let me orient the view. Now you have the top, uh, you know, dielectric, which is of your use and one dielectric below the ground just to take care of extra dielectric loading effect. But dielectric number one, two and three are not really required for your simulation. So you can select all three. Right click and like earlier, you can also exclude it from mesh and now you can see those fonts also turn italic. So in no time you have simplified your simulation without having to modify your layout or stack up in any manner. Here I have run few test cases by including or excluding different kind of layers. And here let me show you uh, the performance difference. So if I run a full blown momentum simulation with everything included in those cases, you can see I require 12,000, you know, size matrix as you can see in the font here. And to simulate this structure on my laptop, it requires approximately 19 minutes. But if I only switch on selective layers for simulation, you can see the, the number of unknowns are now only reduced to 7,400 from 12,000 and now you only need 8 minutes 30 seconds to run that kind of simulation saving you already more than 50 percent of your time and also requiring lesser memory because you reduce the number of unknowns. Similarly if you run a full-blown FEM on the entire assembly for meshing you require around 34 gigabyte of RAM and to run the simulation around 25 or 28 gigabyte of RAM and also you need 37 minutes. 
If I simplify this uh, simulation using the technique I showed you by excluding the layers, you can see now you only need 13 minutes, which is almost, um, you know, 60% reduction in your simulation time. And also you need only 10 gigabyte of RAM to run simulation. And for meshing, you only need around 15 gigabyte. Again, a huge memory saving to run these kind of analysis. Pretty cool, right? And that too, without modifying your layout or a stack up in any manner, everything can be controlled with RF Pro. Now, if you have another structure where you do have a transmission line based design, but on top of this, you're also including these custom 3D components. So the dielectric layers or the metal layers can be ignored like I showed you uh, in the earlier section. But also these 3D components can be excluded or included in your simulation. For example, by going to components and expanding this list, for example, if I don't want to include this capacitor, I can select that instance, right click and I can now exclude it from the mesh. And now again, you can see it turns italic and now this capacitor will be left out from the simulation even though it is physically present on your board. So my second simulation will be only simulating this series inductor along with this couple of transmission line. And here I have already run the simulation and if you would like to see the result difference between these two, to re-emphasize that fact, let's open this parameter viewer where you can see the full LC circuit and the resonance caused by LC. Now if I switch on the selective mode simulation, you can see it's a simple inductor which is shown there so pretty cool technique and you can mix and match the way you would like to run simulation without modifying your layout or stack up in any manner so these were the two case studies i would like to present in this video i hope you found the techniques to be very useful for your practical design work and you will save a lot of time and memory while running these complex electromagnetic simulation thanks a lot for watching Stay tuned for more upcoming videos on RF Pro. Keep learning, keep enhancing your knowledge. Thanks a lot.